Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we're going to be looking at how you can make Unity better. And I know some of you obviously are going to say, oh, just switch over to Godot or Unreal Engine. I'm going to preempt your joke, but instead what we're doing is we're looking at two of the aspects from the current Humble Bundle that really make it just so much better. I'm actually kind of amazed that Unity haven't purchased them. They've purchased other plugin makers in the past, such as uh, Pro Builder or um, Bolt. Uh, but these two that we're looking at today, Full Screen Editor and uh, Script Inspector 3, they both really improve the Unity developer experience. And we're also looking at the Mech Combat Kit. You can see it in action right here. It's uh, basically a way of creating uh, Mech Warrior style games. It's got all of the things that you would expect, including the ability to create mechs that fall into the land. <laughs> so the reason why I'm showcasing this guy right now, though, is that I am actually running this using Full Screen Editor. So if I hit Control, Shift, and F10, like so, you'll see we're in standard and normal Unity. Now I'm gonna go ahead, I'll stop this kit right there. Uh, so that is pretty much the extent of what full screen editor is all about. It gives you the ability, so I've got full screen to the game view and full screen to my scene view. So if you're doing full screen editing, you wanna do things in place and it gives you the ability to pop any of these windows up to full screen size. It's excellent for say, I wanna take some screenshots or if I just wanna test my game out to see what it'd look like at full resolution, but I don't wanna do a complete build. That's what it is all about. So you come up here, you're gonna notice you can do it for the focus view, the game view, scene view, main view, and there's also mosaic option here. There's a toolbar you can toggle on and off. Uh, also, so it's available, where did the toolbar go? I'm not 100% certain where that toolbar drew. Maybe it's only visible when you're actually showing something full screen. But the key thing also to notice is preferences. So my video editor actually uses the F10 key, for example, uh, for stopping and starting recording a video, which would obviously make this one a little tricky to record. So as you see here, you can set up hotkeys for any of these that you wish. You can obviously delete them and so on as well. And that is kind of the idea behind full screen editor. It just gives you the ability to take any of these windows over here and pop them up full screen. And you can see how, again, if you were doing some placement in your world, how this could make it so much easier to work with, especially if you uh, combined it with something like Peak uh, to kind of give you a little bit more of the access to the menus through quick mannerisms. Uh, that is a very cool new ability. Now, on top of that, we also have um, the Script Inspector 3. Now, this one allows you to basically take any script you've got in your game. So, for example, I'm going to come in here. We'll go to the demo. And you see here... Uh, this is the mech demo control script from that uh, mech control kit that we looked at earlier on. I'm just going to double click it. And what you're going to notice here is it opens up in a Unity window. I can dock that window anywhere I wish. Uh, I could obviously have made it full screen as well. Uh, we can also float it and we can resize it. And the key thing about this guy is this enables you to do code editing directly inside of Unity. Absolutely zero need at all uh, for uh, Visual Studio or Visual Studio Code or Project Rider or anything else. And unlike some of the uh, the recent options we've gotten, such as Copilot from... Uh, is Copilot? The, the one that... Um, the folks at IntelliJ gave away. Uh, this actually has everything that you would expect. So coming here, for example, if I wanted to work with cursor, you see here we're getting full code completion. So it gives you that full editing IDE experience, uh, but it is directly inside of Unity. On top of that, you have quite a few configurable options. You've got uh, project navigation up here, breadcrumbs. You also do have the um, the option for like the MIP map view over here. Come on over here. You've got your various different uh, options here. So you've got uh, word wrap you can turn off and on. Uh, we've also got uh, font control, so we can switch out the font on the fly. So if you either use the Monaco font, for example, we can do that right there. We also have support for themes. So I burnout warning in three, two, one, there you go. Uh, so you got a number of predefined themes available right here. Um, so if you want, you can configure it that way. It just basically gives you a mini code editor inside of uh, Unity. And you're gonna find that it just really shockingly increases your proficiency, or sorry, your productivity, not having to switch over to uh, an external program to do code edits. I, I know a lot of you are probably used to that workflow at this point, uh, but if you're just making small script changes, this one is absolutely essential. And in all honesty, when I do a new project, especially because I do a lot of throwaway projects where I will load it up, up and then, um, you know, just do a demo and then get rid of it. Script Inspector is one of the very first things I installed. And if I'm doing any kind of um, screenshots or anything, Full Screen Editor is the one I installed. By far and away, these two plugins are the most used for me. To use them, very simple. Uh, go to Windows, go to Package Manager. Uh, once you've bought the bundle, you'll find them here under, oops, not built in. You'll find them under My Assets like so. So for example, Script Inspector 3, we'll do Script. 
There it is. So Script Inspector 3, just grab it, uh, download it, and then import it, and it, it will be available for you. So basically from that point on, uh, you'll be able to edit any script you find. You basically just open one of these up, like just open it like this. So instead of a single edit, do a double edit, and it will open up the editor directly inside of Unity. And again, these can all be docked and treated like uh, traditional Unity windows. Uh, very powerful tool. And you, again, you have that full theming support and everything else. Uh, the full screen tool installs the exact same way. So again, Windows, Package Manager, find it. And then once it's installed, you will have the full screen option over here. The default uh, hotkeys will be shown to the right on the, on the outside edge here. Also, by the way, if you always want to check your play target in full screen you can turn this one on and then whenever you hit play it will automatically maximize as soon as you do that uh, it's a very simple utility both of them actually are somewhat simple in what they do uh, but they should just be built into unity I'm kind of amazed that unity doesn't have this functionality in there and they will both change the way you work with unity in a positive way so they're really high recommendations for me in both regards uh, in terms of the bundle itself it is ongoing right now it is the tools bundle uh, we did a video on this already so I'm not going to go through it again but there's a lot of great stuff in here for 30 bucks so basically any one of these assets is more or less 30 bucks in price so full screen editor is normally 20 bucks script inspector is normally 40 bucks so if you buy either of them in the bundle you're getting everything else for free uh, these are the two again that i use on a daily basis and i highly recommend but there's a number of other things here uh, that are quite good it was the mech combat kit we also checked out today uh, so again the assets are full screen editor we looked at today it enables you to uh, run your various different views full screen with a touch of key uh, we have the script inspector 3 uh, which is basically an ide for code editing directly inside of the unity game engine and then we also took a very very quick look at the mech combat kit this is a set of tools for creating a mech style game uh, so you got systems for doing like loadouts hot points uh, and so on uh, you'll notice we went back in uh, unity itself we have the mech combat kit we have menus here so tutorials and so on for creating animation controls for your own compound mechs and we've also got things here for creating things like weapons uh, guns and missile weapons etc for your mechs to work with so then you can start building them kind of like virtual lego block ish approach to building these things so you've got all of those different uh, aspects there plus you've got uh, radar systems hud systems damage systems artificial intelligence for other mechs so if mech style games is what you are looking to create uh, this is another aspect of this uh bundle and i basically just demonstrated this one today because it showed you uh, how the full screen toolkit works but if you're interested in mechs yourself uh, it could be a good one to check out as well um and yeah that is it um and that's the, the the bundle is still going on for another two weeks so i'm going to be covering a couple more items in this bundle if there's anything specific that you really want to see covered do let me know i know there's a lot of interest in the top down engine so that one is definitely a covering one i may cover the prefab world builder as you saw from a second ago i was actually thinking about covering it today but i didn't want this video to be that that long uh, but there's a few other things people might be interested in the broccoli tree creator the other one i think that really popped out at people is this uh, Ar Archimatix Pro uh, procedural modeling tool. So I might cover that as well. But the ones that you're most interested in seeing, please do let me know in the comments down below. But by far and away, my easiest recommendations, uh, these are the uh, of all of the bundles we've ever had in the past, the things that have changed my workflow the most are Script Inspector 3, full screen editor, and then also not in this bundle, Peak and um, Odin. Those four plugins, I think, are essential. You you add them to Unity, and it makes Unity just a completely different environment to work with. So let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.